Okay, let me throw it to Mr. Dishino. He's here with us. Uh, could you, can we get a direct response from you about what he said about uh, the itemization of those roads? No, um, Chamberlain, I'll rather that uh, this engagement is not one for throwing brickbats. Mr. Shumi has a right to his opinion, his party has a right to its opinion, but we have facts in that book. If you are going to controvert facts, you must bring superior uh, facts. You can only demolish facts with superior facts. He doesn't have the facts. So I, don't, I wouldn't want to engage or, or at that level. Rather, I will want to talk positive. If I want to engage at that level, I'll tell him that the government is referring to is the inglorious era of this country. It looted excess crude account. It looted uh, uh, the, the, the for, for foreign deposit. It looted everything dry in this country. But I would rather that we don't engage at that level. Well, if you say that, uh, okay. Yes, you see, when you, when, when you have a, a bunch of people play with words like looting, you will just know that there's a reason why the narrative about the African people never seem to get improved. Yes, there are one or two people that are under observation in court, but they have to wait until the cases are proved. And whatever has not been proved are mere allegations. And all of this talk about looting excess food, well, I can ask, that's a bit uningenious, disingenuous. Because you'll ask, was it not in this country when governors were asking that these monies be, you know, be shared across the, the three tiers of government and how the monies were shared and how they were used and APC collected their shares and did whatever they needed to do with it. That's not where I'm going with him. I want us to stay on the areas they're working. They go to budget and planning. In two years, they try to trump up and clap for themselves that they've done something fantastic. You're all here in this country. In those two years, you know how long it took them to do their budget. The first time they're going to even do something maybe commendable with the budget presentation was maybe this one towards 2018, where the, the president was able to put in his budget early enough. The first, the first year, they didn't get the budget until about close to six or seven months. The second year, they didn't get the budget until, do you get what I'm saying? CBN, they talk to us and give us an impression that they have probably built CBN and new and created. No, what we see is a medley of misdirected policy that made the Naira become really near worthless, and the dollar just ballooned to locations that we could. We are looking at inflation. The, we, we, when we were in government, the minute passed, we had positive growth year on year, minus oil. Mm. Now they're here. They're, even when the oils have started to peak, they're still having negative growth. And let, the let, GDP numbers, crazy. Let, let's, look, let's link that to the agri sector. Yeah, we'll come because, to the Because, I mean, you know, the, the, the country and the people want to feel that impact. And uh, for, from what they vitamized, how we intend to stop importation uh, of rice, I think they say, is it this year or in two years? Because I know that um, your government also had some targets about uh, that agri sector. But picking up from where we are today, mm -hmm. can't we say that, because government is a continuum, can't we say that, well, yes, if they're building on what they met before, they seem to be on course in that regard? Now, I'll just say with agri that when we had an agri minister here that was trying to get the whole thing sorted out in the manner that it can become more transparent. The APC was busy claiming that we were doing nonsense. That same fellow has been sent to the world and he has been converted and he has been given the price as one of the literate for food in this world. And he's not getting that honor based on any other thing he did except for the work we did here. So it seems to be that unless we go out of the country and foreigners clap for our government, those that we serve especially those that yeah, inherited. What about the, the, in the, the, agri the, the, the what current they minister? Done? They came, the new agri minister. Yeah. They came in. You know the problem with the APC is that they are too quick to blow their trumpet. They don't even wait until they get the result before they blow it. They came in and they said, oh, they've achieved blah, blah, blah in yam. And they've gotten yams that nobody has been able to see before. And the tubers are so large, nobody can even finish eating them. They started sending them to America. Two, three days, one month later, what do we face with? We're faced with the embarrassment that they have sent materials out there that have not uh, been able to work. So what no, are we I, saying? What I, we're I think saying, I heard a follow-up report about that particular case where the farmer did say that, no, there seems to be some misconception, mm. that he was the one who was exporting. He didn't think nobody has gotten across to him. He's still exporting those products, mm. and he's still in good shape. Yeah, yes, yes. There's always a way to spin mm. anything negative But if I follow up on that, when we were here, we did, the, we did the cassava glut. Yeah. We converted, we increased the percentage of usage of cassava in this country. The flour mills in the nations themselves were buying product. So 
you the products that what we were doing with agriculture was systematically pushing agriculture to become a private sector led business yeah, and yeah. you had songa in Quara, which was us you had the largest poultry farming in the country which is us and you go all over the country you will see private sector people doing great things in agriculture which is the only thing i can commend them for is probably the anchor boras program which the CBN has introduced, but it's not even exactly theirs. It's our policy that they are implementing. So, given what we know about leaders and leadership in this country and different political parties, because when a new political party or when a new government, at whatever level, mm -hmm. is they come into place, what we see most times is they seem to jettison the previous project and start again. But at this point, still on, on agriculture, I think I heard the minister at some point, I, I can't remember when exactly, He's saying that, uh, well, they seem they will continue with some of those policies and projects. Is that a bad thing? It's not a bad thing, but you know what we're saying there is that give us the credit that is due us. What could they have done? You can't reinvent the wheel. If you, so you, you don't if think the, that's good enough credit? No, it could have simply said, I commend the predecessor for the work he has done. Are you sure he didn't say that? No, he didn't say that. <laughs> he first of all launched in thinking he was going to do something creative. And then when he realized that inventions are the handwork or the brainwork of geniuses, what could he do? He had to accept. Okay, let me go to Mr. Additional. Mr. Additional, about agri in this country, because ultimately, no matter what people do, Nigerians want to see that that impact is made, no matter who has done it. But about moving forward with that sector, I'm concerned about that single digit interest rates access to credit is very important because you say i mean the government again latching on to that narrative of us diversifying the economy looking towards agriculture because that could be the future how optimistic are you that uh, where your target is to get us a single digit interest rate will happen say at the end of four years well, let me make a final comment about PDP, and after that, I won't talk about them again. That's a party that belongs to the dustbin of history in this country. It's a party of the past. It's not even a party of the now or of the future. I believe that Nigerians know those who have pauperized them, those who have pulverized them, and those who have sent them into, into the slave camp. So, uh, I wouldn't want to engage with Mr. Shumi. He can continue to talk about his party. I won't talk about the PDP on this program. Now, direct to your question. Um, anytime you listen to the Minister of Agri in the Federal Executive Council meeting, one thing he brings up is the interest rate vis-a-vis -vis Agri. And he usually raises the need for interest rates to drop so that investment in agri can be more profitable and people can be encouraged to go into agri. So the fact that the government realizes that is very important. But then it is not something you, you just uh, wish through. It is not something you, you do by fire. It is something that responds to other policies. Therefore, economic policies must be tailored and directed in a way that it will affect interest rates. And like I always say, government is work in progress. Not even just the present government, including government of the past. Government is a continuum. If you meet anything good, continue to do it. It's so that the lives of Nigerians can be positively affected. But uh, Mr. Additional, uh, if we have to look at the agricultural sector, one who is compelled to ask you, uh, the APC government, that what is it exactly, uh, apart from uh, maybe some of the intervention programs that we did see uh, that you're running, what other indices, what other uh, uh, proofs are there that this diversification into the agricultural sector uh, is truly working? The facts speak. Look at what the National Bureau of Statistics has brought out in the past three, four, five quarters. The facts speak. In fact, getting out of a Greek, apart from the role oil played, a Greek played the most significant uh, role. Look at the facts. The facts speak for themselves. So okay. we don't need to come uh, waving banners and all that. The facts speak, and uh, the, 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 the facts are what we should use. Okay. The, the fact that we know in our Greek is that we used to buy a bag of rice for maybe about 7,500 a couple of months ago.
under their voodoo agri policy, we're now buying rice at close to 20,000 or, or 18,000, 15,000. I thought you rice. commended the anchor borrowers program. That, it's not, uh, it's not, that's not taking root yet. They don't even know how to implement it. Right. But we're not buying rice more expensively. The facts speak. We used to buy a tuba of yam, a couple of tubas for less than 400 naira. Right now, you know how much we buy. The facts speaks. We know how much we buy palm oil. We know how much we're buying it now. The facts speaks. We even know how much we're buying petrol in Nigeria during our era. We know how much they buy petrol now. You see, so, I... So would, where, where, where did that de derailment come from? From their government thoughtlessness and inability to understand that sometimes you don't latch in on the deep end and think that you can, you can just you know, promise more than what you can do and get in there and start to run a medley of confusing policies. If they had just stepped back a little bit, accepted that they have now become the new winners, or I mean, the ones who have to run the economy, agreed that the person who had been sitting on that chair was not exactly wasting his time and looked at things from a bit more circumspect position, there would have been no need for this. Otherwise, how do you rationalize what we have now in the country? Everybody who is a Nigerian, who is not in government, who is not in a salary, knows how tough the times are. But surely, and if government has been here for two years, and they try to tell us that they've been very sanctimonious, and some of the most corrupt elements in their party who have run government at different levels before are the ones coming to their book launch to hypocritically call other people corrupt, then you just know that no, something must be wrong somewhere. All but right. I understand their issues. We'll be back they in, must we'll, come up with something that they've done in two years, even though they know um, they've wasted their own time. Let's go to break, but we'll be back and take a look at some of the other key items that were highlighted in that mid-term report. Don't go away.